Look at this. I'm freaking huge. Freaking huge. Peekaboo. Yum yum. Welcome to That's Not Sexy. I am your master level personal trainer, Alex Diaz, aka Mr. Freaking Huge. And um, as you can tell, I have a new HD uh, 1080p camera. Um, it actually, surprisingly, it's really bright. Like it's um, makes me look whiter than I than what I really am. I'm, I am light skin, but I'm not a vampire-ish. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, and I got my new um, new uh, camera, so I could uh, my handheld camera, another 1080p HD camera to do um, you know, videos at the gym. So I will be making more videos at the gym now that I have my camera. So, but before I wanted to, uh, before I'm gonna go to work today, I wanted to make this video about um, imbalances in your arms and legs, and uh, you know, one arm bigger, one arm being bigger, or one leg being bigger than the other. Um, what you should do, what causes it, and how to correct. It. Before I even explain, you know, anything, I want to say that if you had a, an injury, let's say like you broke your arm or you broke your leg or something like that, then this is this is gonna, you know, um, limit your mobility doing your training. Um, and this, if you have an injury and that arm or leg is where you you injured it, then it's because of a lack of um, range of motion that you have. So. I'm not saying that you can't get it bigger or you know, but it just depends on how severe the injury was, but it, it will hinder your range of motion. So that's one thing to look into if you have one arm bigger or um, shorter or leg bigger than, or you know, not shorter, bigger <laughs> or smaller than the other. Um, you have to also have to excuse the microphone on this webcam isn't that good. So I'm going to be buying a really good high quality condenser microphone that I that is used for like studios like I have here. So uh, anyways, let me explain what you shouldn't do. Now a lot of people, will, if my right arm is bigger than my left arm, I'm going to do my left arm for an extra rep, extra uh, set. So I, I'm going to do four sets on my right arm and five sets on my left arm. Your arm, your left arm, if you do that, okay, if you do that, your left arm will obviously become big and it will be, you measure your arms and everything else within a couple of months, it will be even. But if you do that, okay, if you do that, in the long run, your left arm that was smaller and now is even will become bigger than your right arm because if you're training a muscle more frequently you're doing it an extra set extra 10 reps on that muscle group it's becoming strong okay so yes you will have even arms but this arm will become stronger because this arm isn't used to doing five sets it's only used to doing four sets this one is doing five sets so remember that even though you are getting bigger in one arm doing an extra set you will also become stronger on that arm so in the future your left arm will be more dominant than your right arm and then hence your left arm will be bigger than your right <clears throat> because if you're doing a barbell let's say your arms are even you have 17 inch arms 15 inch arms whatever your arms are and you finally got them even. Now, when you're doing a bar bell workout, since the left arm is always used to lifting more, it's going to want to lift the bar more than your right arm. So, eventually, if you keep on doing <clears throat> bar workout, bar exercises, your left arm will become bigger. So, what do I recommend instead of getting one arm stronger? Because strength and size are two different things. Remember that. Uh, so, uh, you want to do from now on for any upper body workouts 
this is for your back, this is for your this is for your chest, this is for your shoulders, this is for everything. You will do uh bar uh, sorry, dumbbell workouts, isolation workouts. So if you're gonna do um a, a back row, you know, you normally do it with two hands, you can do one arm back row alternating arms because you're using your biceps for your back row and if your right arm is more dominant there come the cops <laughs> if your right arm is more dominant uh, then you will use your right arm doing a back row even though you're using both arms and then your right arm will become bigger and stronger and your left arm will become weaker and smaller so for everything you do okay for your chest press, same thing, you're going to do dumbbells. For your shoulder presses, you're going to do dumbbells. Everything is dumbbells. Single arm exercises, you know, for back and everything else. So for your legs, it's the exact same thing. You're going to do leg extensions, one leg at a time, same sets, same reps, okay? And uh, leg presses, one leg. You could try to do one leg squats on a, if you have, like, some support, like a chair. And you could try to do some more legged squats. Uh, lunges obviously because you're working on one leg at a time uh, but you gotta stay away from doing normal squats where both feet are planted on the ground you want to stay away from doing a leg press with both feet together and obviously since you're doing one foot I mean one leg you're gonna drop the weight because you're not gonna be doing the same weight you do with both legs on one because your leg will snap off and you go to the hospital so um, do not do extra reps or sets to get to get your arms or legs even. Eventually, doing dumbbells and doing one arm exercises and doing them correctly and evenly will uh, your your body will adapt and become even. The reason why you have one arm or one leg bigger is because you use it more frequently, or that's your dominant arm and leg. Um, I had a client who was a waiter, and his arm. His right arm, he could lift about 40, 50 pound dumbbells because he was always, um, you know, doing, um, holding trays with his right arm. His left arm can only do 15 pounds. That's a big difference for you to only be able to do 15 on this one for like 10 reps and do about 40 to 50 pounds for 10 reps on this one. Maxing out, meaning you cannot do no more. Not, not that he can do you know, more in his left arm. No, he couldn't do more in his left arm and he couldn't do, uh, he did 40, 50 pound dumbbells. So we did the same thing I'm telling you, <laughs> okay? And um, so if your job, you, you know, use if you need your right arm or your left arm or you know, more for your job, then you're gonna have to start changing it to your left or your right opposite arm to make sure that you have, you're not, you don't have any balances. Um, and, um, What's I gonna say? Yeah, so you're not you're not gonna um do extra sets or reps to correct the imbalance. You're gonna do single um you know um, arm exercises and dumbbell exercises, not barbell exercises. So eventually, the waiter had even arms. Actually, the right one was way bigger than the left, um about like two and almost two inches, and eventually in a couple of months, well. Say more, a lot more months. Uh, the imbalance was corrected, and his arms were almost completely even, maybe off by like a quarter of an inch. But that's pretty good, you know, considering that his job, all he does all day, every day, is waiter, is you know, doing being a waiter. So, if your job affects you, then you have to do the other arm, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you always tend to use one arm for everything. Holding your book bag, holding bags, um, you know, cleaning, whatever. Start to use the other arm to do the same thing. You know, clean with your left arm, hold the bag with your, you know, and everything else with your left arm. If you have an imbalance, okay. That's it. That's all I gotta say. So remember, for legs, leg curls, single leg, leg extension, single leg squats, single legs, everything, single leg lunges, leg press, everything, okay. Because I actually I had, okay, I had an imbalance in my in my legs. Um, my right leg was a, a inch, um, actually an inch and a half bigger than my left leg. So what I did to correct the imbalance is, 
um, because my right leg is actually a little bit, maybe like quarter inch bigger than my left as far as length. So you start, to, you tend to push more with the, the longer leg because obviously it's longer and you get a full range. So um, I started doing one legged, um, you know, uh, leg presses, uh, you know, one legged squats. Uh, lunges, like extension, single leg, leg curl, single leg. Um, this is a couple of years ago, and um, and now that they're completely even, okay. And same thing with my arms. My arms were an uh, inch smaller. My my left was an inch bigger than my right. And you know, I I, I um, went away from dumbbells. Sorry, from barbells. I started doing dumbbell exercises. Not adding more sets. Not adding more reps. In time, eventually my arm came um, even out and actually had to just the even in strength and even in size. So your body will eventually even itself out if you do dumbbell exercises and single leg and single arm exercises. Okay? Uh, I know what I'm talking about because I myself was a, a victim <laughs> to this a couple of years ago and I train clients all the time that have this kind of imbalance and this is all. This is something I always do um, to correct this, and it's always been proven to work. Um, don't I'm telling you do not do extra sets or reps on your other arm or leg because I'm telling you, you will have a strength imbalance. Okay, and in the future, that arm will become bigger or leg will become bigger. Right? I tend to repeat myself a lot because I want people to, the best way to, to remember something is to repetition. So that's why I like to repeat myself a couple of times and to summarize the whole video. So I know it's a long ass video, but it's an important one and I hope you like this. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, not only to this channel, but to my second channel, Mr. Freaking Huge, to get quick did you know facts to impress your friends, right? And if you're not subscribed, that's not sexy, man. I'm freaking huge, man. Look at it. Same size. Take care.